everyone. Today we are doing part two of the best luxury gifts. My first video really focused on beauty, although I did have a lot of candles in there. I was trying to figure out how to kind of balance it and the candles fit better in the beauty because I had already done a basically top 10 perfume video and a holiday video for all the beauty products. So I was like, okay, candles are gonna go on beauty. So today we're gonna have shoes and jewelry and bags and what I call other. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let us start with shoes. Shoes are tough. Um, if you're buying shoes for someone, you probably know them well because you know what size they are. This is not somebody who like, you know, you're getting a luxury gift for and you're not quite sure what they like. Although I would argue if you're getting a luxury gift, you hopefully know these people pretty well. But maybe not. Maybe your thing is buying luxury gifts. Um, so I only have three pairs of shoes because I feel like that is the, like, of all of these things, that's kind of like the trickiest thing to do. Um, so these are all shoes I either own or I'm about to buy. The first are these Hermes mules and they're called Flore, F-L-O-R-E. Again, these are not inexpensive items, guys. <laughs> this is all luxury. Um, the ones I own, and I'll have the picture go up here, are the Noir, and they are in the black leather with the silver hardware. The others, um, they do have it in a uh, beige-ish, yeah, beige suede. They have one with a beige suede and a black suede that has like shirling on the inside. They are, for the ones without the shirling, they are $1,300 here in the United States. You can get them cheaper overseas. Um, they have about 2.4 inch heel. Absolutely love these shoes. I think they're beautiful. I think they're perfect for work. I also think they're perfect for every day. They have a reasonable size heel. It's a block heel so I can walk in them. <laughs> I absolutely love the shoes. I think they're phenomenally good. Again, it's, it's a particular style because it's like a loafer mule, uh, but they, they really look fantastic on. I'll take a video of me wearing them. Uh, hopefully I can get it up in this video because I just, I think they're stunning. I did a um, post on Instagram and I think I also include, yeah, I did include it in my video here about trends, about like platform uh, loafers. And platform loafers are huge right now. They're, they're everywhere. Todd's has them, Bottega has them. Hermes has them, and I loved these because I love mules. I love shoes that don't necessarily have a back to them because they have a really thin ankle. I know it's it's really strange, but it comes out of the shoe, so I have problems with shoes that like don't fit perfectly, so it's better for me to have a mule or a boot. So yeah, absolutely love these. Uh, the next are the Hoka Bondi 8s. I have them in all black. These are great sneakers. I, I've heard them called the ugliest cool sneaker. I don't know if that's true. They aren't, you know, in what you would normally say stylish, I guess, but they're very popular, which I did not know, but they're incredibly comfortable. I have an all black pair. I bought an all white pair for my sister. They're great shoes. So if you're looking for somebody who's like, who's more like looking for like that leisure wear or actually works out all the time or walks all the time. These are great shoes, they're incredibly comfortable. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love them, I think they're fantastic. The next are the Burberry Alistock boots. Now, there are a lot of boots in this style. Um, Louboutin has a, a pair of boots in this style that I've looked at for a while, so does Jimmy Choo. I like these for the little check on the side to wear these over leggings so that you could see the little check. I just think it's a little bit different and a little bit unique. I don't know. I like it. Um, I think they're, I think they're really cool. Uh, there's something about that little check. I think that just adds something, I guess is the word. Again, this is something that you would have to know, you know, their size and all those things. Um, but they are $990. Uh, I'll make sure the links are down below in case you are interested in buying this. And as I put these lists together, it's not just for buying gifts for other people. Obviously, I know this time of year, we all look for stuff for our, well, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one who looks for stuff for myself when it goes on sale, but I do. Because we do have sales this time of year, and they do like, you know, coupons and trying to get people to shop. So, you know, if you're buying it for yourself, personally, I think there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, jewelry. So for the most part in jewelry, I am somebody 
who likes to buy things that are really different and unique. I like to try, try to buy pieces that a lot of people don't have. Um, not necessarily like a price thing, but literally like a vintage. I love vintage jewelry. And I really would suggest um, going online to Etsy has great stuff, the real, real fashion file. The, um, there's a couple of people on Instagram that have the Thirst Collection, which is in London. I'll think of the others and I'll put them down below, but I think there's, um, there's a lot of great vintage jewelry out there that you can find. So I am somebody who tends to buy vintage, um, as I'm not wearing vintage today, but, but, you know, I, I do, I do like that. But every once in a while, I like to buy something a little shiny, a little flashy that's brand new. And a lot of you have asked me about these. These are the Chanel earrings that I was wearing in the quote first part of this video. And these I had to call an essay, my essay, my Chanel essay to get. They are online, um, but the ones that are online are clips for some reason, unless they've updated it. They were only clips, they didn't have these pierced ones, so I had to get them through calling my essay. Uh, so depending on whether you want clips or you want uh, pierced, there, I think there is a difference in price, I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, so those are, those are Chanel, I absolutely love them, that would make a great gift. Here's the interesting thing, they're actually not heavy. They're actually pretty light. Um, these are mesh, so it's, it's, yeah, it's not that heavy. Now, it is a heavier earring than, you know, a, a, these, um, but if you can take a medium weight earring, you'll be fine. These are the Swarovski earrings that I have been contemplating, uh, buying for forever, and... You know what, interestingly enough, I think I also saw these on Cassie Thorpe. I'm pretty sure all, it's all her fault. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm laughing because she uh, saw my post and, and reposted, I take all, I'm happy to take all the blame. Uh, if you're not watching Cassie Thorpe, what, what are you doing with your life? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, she's fantastic. Uh, her style is very different from mine, but I do, I do find her, her jewelry choices tend to be similar to mine. Uh, as I've mentioned, if you've never watched me before, by the way, hi, my name is Jennifer. Uh, I'm, on my channel, I do things all, all things luxury, beauty, fashion, it runs the gamut. I used to be a makeup artist for, now, for Chanel half a lifetime ago and, and apparently can't speak anymore. Um, and I tend to like more of like the quiet luxury type of thing. Um, and and uh, Cassie is more, as, as she has said, loud luxury. But I do love her, her jewelry choices. I think they're phenomenal. Um, so these earrings have been on my um, shopping list, wish list, whatever you want to say, for forever. And I've got them in my cart. That's why I'm um, looking at my phone right now. These are the Swarovski Lucent Hoop Earrings. They have a couple of shades. Uh, I want the blue ones because I have this color blue in like a lot of clothes. And it's one of my favorite blues. My husband calls it Smurf Blue, but I don't care. I like it. Um, so yeah, they are $350. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And they're really light because they're lucite. Um, again, I don't like a, like a super heavy earring. So I like a more of a, like a light, uh, have a, a medium to light heavy earring. <laughs> that makes no sense. A lighter earring. Uh, but I love those. Like I said, they come in different shades. I'll um, have links down below. And then there's also a pair of... I think these are really interesting earrings. I don't, I've gone back and forth on whether I want to buy them for myself. I really like them. They're Raban. So Paco Raban is now Raban, if you didn't know. Everybody's losing their first names. I don't know. Anyway, they are the, <laughs> it's the Flow Pixel Leopard Print earrings. They are $325. And I just think they're cool. They remind me of the 80s, and I actually have a pair of earrings that are kind of similar to this, but they're just gold. They're just like that gold mesh. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Like, again, I don't know if I would wear them, but I like them. Um, and I think they'd make a great gift because they're a lot of fun. But again, it's a particular type of person. You'd have to know, you'd have to know the person. So these are a little bit more safe. These are the Isabel Morant Crescent earrings. Now I mentioned in my video and I had it up on Instagram that these sort of bold geometric shape earrings and the ones that, are, that kicked it all off are Bottega Veneta and they're like $1,200 for the silver or something. Uh, yeah, they're, they're really, they're really expensive. Anyway, 
Um, that shape, that style has become very, very popular. And it's a, it's a relatively safe buy, if you will, because you just have to know whether they prefer silver or gold coloring. Um, and then the shape is the shape. Like it's not super shiny. It's not like, you know, it's not an animal. It's not, you know, it's not a print. Uh, these Isabel Marat ones are, are similar to the Bottegas and at a much cheaper price point. They're $321. They're really nice. And I actually think I'm going to buy these. I love the Bottega ones, but I just, I can't stomach spending that much money on a pair of earrings. Like, uh, that are just gold, basically, spheres, half spheres. It's, I'm just like, no, I can't do it. Uh, but that's a pretty safe, you know, buy. I think most people will be like, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a simple, elegant earring that most people would wear if they wear earrings. Bags. Now, here's the thing on the bags. I tried to keep this video in the reasonable luxury lane, uh, range, not the... Not the, not the let's spend $12,000 for a bag. So all the bags that I like, I'm going to be very honest, are like 10 grand. They're, I don't own them. I like them. Um, yeah, the, the prices have gotten out of control. There's a Chanel bag I like. There's a Dior bag I like that's encrusted with crystals. I'll put up a picture. It's $12,000. I was like, what? what? There's a Celine bag I like that has like special. Well, anyway, that one was $16,000. So yeah, so I'm not including those. If you are interested, let me know, like DM me or something, I'll send you the ones I like and you know, if you're looking for one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I didn't include those. I would say this, um, look at places like The Real Real and Fashion File. They have great secondary market for Celine and Chanel and Gucci and Fendi. And again, they're not gonna be cheap, but they'll be reasonable and you can figure out you know, what level of quality you want, whether you want something that's basically new or very used, etc. Um, the Celine Triumph bag or Triumph bag comes in different shapes. There's like the large, there's, I think it's a medium and a, and a mini. There's now the more rectangular one. I think that is a great bag. If you're looking for like a very special person in your life and you know they're a kind of quiet luxury person, the Celine Triumph bag is a phenomenal gift. Like it's a great bag. And I think anyone who likes quiet luxury will love this bag. I mean, it, it would be probably the best gift they've ever received. Or it would be if, it were, if someone gave that to me. If you're more of like the Dior bag that I put up a couple minutes ago with the, the crystals all over it, that's, then this is a different person. But um, it is really expensive. It's gonna be like $5,000 with uh, tax. So, you know, I, I, again, there's a lot of cool bags out there and I did put some up, um, again, on Instagram, some ideas. And I've talked about, and uh, in the video where I talked about like, quiet luxury and stuff. I think there's there's dupes out there. Um, and if you're interested in, in hearing about those, I can I can post something about it. But most of the bags that I would probably buy or I would really like that are luxury are just so far out of range. They've just gone up so much lately that uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be buying them. And it may be something that I start to look at, you know, like the Real Real or Fashion File to, to purchase. Uh, but I do wanna mention there's a couple of like fun, like holiday bags. And I have sort of three levels, if you will of the holiday bags. Let's start with the most expensive one, as I just talked about not having the most crazy expensive things, but this one is crazy expensive, but it's not $10,000. This one is the Valentino Garavani V-Sling Mini Shoulder Bag. There was one, this bag existed last year in a green, uh, which I loved so much. And my husband was like, well, if you really want it, go ahead and get it. But I was like, where will I wear it? This is a bag that I would wear maybe once a year. Maybe. I am not going to any galas. I live in Boston. This is not LA. This is not New York. This is not London. This is not Milan. This is Boston. And we are wearing our sweatshirts and I don't wear Uggs, but you get the idea. And our Boston Red, so Red Sox sweatshirts and a hat. It's cold. <laughs> it's dry. <laughs> it's not pleasant weather. Um, so yeah. So uh, for me, this is, you know, $6,000. I would not spend $6,000 on the back. I didn't buy it. But I love this bag. I do. I absolutely love it. It's similar to the Dior blue one that I put up a little while ago with all the crystals and the shiny. I just love this bag. And if you're somebody who does go to events all the time and you love that kind of stuff, and you can, you know, that's in your budget, I think that's a phenomenal gift. I, I, I think it's beautiful and I think someone would love it. If you're in a slightly lower buying group, um, like I am. Uh, there's the Aqua Zora Mini Galactic Crystal Tote Bag. Now this is $1,800. It's 
definitely not cheap. Definitely not cheap. But again, you get that crystal, shiny, pretty, with crystals all over the handle. It's a lot of fun. Again, I would probably wear this one like once a year, but if you are looking for something that's like fun and over the top and shiny and crystally, you know, this is this is sort of that step down from the, the Valentino. One step down from that is the Cult Gaia, or is it Gaia? A uh, mini Sienna crystal chainmail top handle bag. This is $428, and I have seen this on sale. Saks was running a sale for like 15% off. I don't know if they're still running that sale, but it comes in a silver and a green. This is like mini bag. This is the tiny bag energy thing, uh, but it's a really cute bag. It's shiny, sparkly. It's got the same kind of sparkles. Um, is it made as well as the others? Probably not, but I mean, again, if you're using it like I am once a year, if you're lucky, um, this is probably a better price point for me. Again, I have to talk myself out of the 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 uh, Aquazara or the, the Valentino and be like, Jen, do not spend that much money on a bag you're gonna use once. Um, I always hope that like I'll see something like that, you know, secondhand, like, and it'll be a lot cheaper, but that practically never happens. So, um, but I just wanted to give you different options in case you're looking for, for different price points. Continuing with bags, just really quickly, there's a bag, there's a company called Self Portrait they're on My Teresa. If you've never shopped My Teresa, they are fantastic. Great customer service, really easy to use. And there's this bow embellished satin shoulder bag. This one's in green. I think there's a, a white one as well. It's $585. And then there's the bow micro embellishment tote bag. And this is $495. And I think there's different colors in this as well. Again, if you're looking for a shiny, shimmery bag, which you want something with color, these have color options. I think they're really cute. I'm not familiar with self portrait, so that's why I didn't like start off with those the other brands i know and i've either had them or used them um but i am really interested in this because i think these are really cute and i think the price point is excellent so something to consider if you're looking for like a fun you know holiday shiny bag swarovski swarovski i mentioned the earrings swarovski has phenomenally good ornaments so if you know somebody who's celebrating christmas or puts up a tree or who just likes ornaments uh they have these like uh, holiday ornaments that come out every year and they're really pretty. The one this year I think has a candle in the middle, in the middle of it. Last year had birds. I really wanted the birds and I forgot to buy them and then they sold out. It's really annoying me. Anyway. Uh, but they also have figurines, of course. There's lots of different figurines that you can look at. They make great gifts because, you know, it's, even if you don't really know what somebody likes, you can get them a beautiful crystal figure or a beautiful crystal uh, ornament. It's just a really I don't want to say easy, but it's an easy, easy luxury gift. Don't get me wrong, they're not cheap. So um, it's a it's definitely luxury, it's a lovely gift, but you know, it's something that is easier to buy for people. We're gonna go through some, what I guess I would consider, it's not not fun stuff, but like it's more, it's more, <laughs> I gotta think of the best way to make this sound, like, because these are things that I would love to get, but some people might be like, that's boring. Um, this is the Dyson Purifier Humidity and Cool Formaldehyde. I'll explain what it is. I have one, my husband just bought it for me. So this is a Dyson humidifier. And uh, so it humidifies the room. It gets very dry here in New England in the winter, which is not good for my sinuses. I, in addition to the migraines and headaches, I get sinus problems. Uh, so it, it, gets, uh, it puts humidity into the room, which I need. And it's quiet. It has all different types of settings. It has an app. It has a, a remote control so you can do it from your bed, which is awesome. And it removes particulates and formaldehyde from the air. If you don't know what those things are, I'm not going to go into detail here. I know them from the allergy side of things, from the sufferer side of things. I am not a doctor, not a medical doctor, not a scientist in any way. So I'm not going to explain them. Go ahead and look them up. But basically, there are contaminants that get in the air that can um uh, agitate people who have sensitivities it can agitate it can be bad for anyone but especially for people who suffer from allergies migraines sinus problems and this little device has done miraculous things for the air quality in my room in our bedroom that's where we keep it this is very expensive very expensive um it's a thousand dollars so I, it's not something you enter into lightly. It's more of a gift for like yourself or significant other in your house. Um, the molecule purifiers are also excellent. They don't have the humidifier aspect, at least I don't think they do. 
Um, but those are the two and that's what the molecule looks like. I have both. I have molecules in certain parts of my house and then I have the Dyson the purifier and humidifier all in one in the bedroom. Um, for me, because I've had so many health problems that frankly were incredibly expensive, this is this pays for itself, to be honest. I mean, I had to have an MRI. I had to like, you know, I won't go into it here, but thousands of dollars. Um, so I'm more than happy to, you know, spend money on something like this that actually purifies the air and, and gives me humidity without like making it damp. Do you know what I mean? Like there's some humidifiers that like leave a film. That's not pleasant. Um, so yeah, this is an absolutely amazing product. And I mentioned Dyson, the hair dryers and the air wraps in my, my beauty video. I really am a big fan of Dyson. I have a Dyson, um, vacuum that my husband bought me when we were still dating. No, I think we were engaged. So it was like 18 years ago and you know, people were like, he got you a Dyson. It's what I asked for. I was so thrilled to have that because I have dogs and it's the, it's the pet one. And I know that doesn't really make sense, but there's one that's like specifically for pets. Um, it takes, gets up pet hair. I think it's an attachment, but anyway, the point is I still have that, that vacuum. It's never, it's perfect. It, there's no problems with it ever. It doesn't get clogged. It's easy to clean. Like those are things you use all the time. What a, I mean, honestly, what an awesome gift. I love it. He uses it too. It's not like it's just me, but I love things like that. Like the, the Dyson, you know, hair dryers and the purifiers and the, the vacuum cleaners. Yes, I know they're not like sexy gifts, but for me, honestly, they mean more than like any bag or, or jewelry or anything else because it's good for my health and makes my life easier. And on that note of health, there are the Therabody Smart Goggles. They're $199. They are at Best Buy. I think they're on Amazon too. And basically what these are, and again, I have these, um, you wear them, they're, they're well, she'll put the, put the picture up. You put them on your face. They can heat to different levels. They have different modes like focus, sleep. I don't remember what the other one is. Um, and they're massaging and heated. They are the best things ever. This massaging heated sort of pressure um, really does make a huge difference. And there's like a sound to it, so that helps too. Um, I would strongly recommend this for anybody who has sinus problems, headaches, migraines. It's a phenomenal gift. The person who suffers from any of those ailments will love you for it. Um, I use it all the time. Even like when I don't necessarily have like a migraine, I just kind of have like a tension headache or I'm just tired, I'll use it and I feel better. It's a really great gift. I would recommend it highly to, to anyone. So houseware stuff, I drink a lot of tea, like a lot of tea. I don't drink coffee. That's, uh, um, this is the water heater that I have in my kitchen. I can't remember the name right now, but I'll make sure it's down below. Um, and basically it just keeps your water hot at all times. And you can press the button at the top, the water comes out and you have, you know, you put your tea in, whether it's loose tea or tea bag and you're ready to go. If you drink a lot of tea like I do, and I drink tea every day, great gift, really great gift. Just keep it in the kitchen and you have hot water ready to go. It's fantastic, I love it. I use it all the time, all the time. Or I thought these were really cute and I actually am gonna buy these um, because I just, I like them. I know it sounds funny, but I saw them and I was like, oh, I love these. So these are the Zwilling J.A. Henkels, which makes knives, by the way, which I do have. Their knives are really, really good. Um, they are the four piece, 12 ounce double wall glass coffee mug set. I will not be putting coffee in them. I will be putting tea in them, but I love the fact that they're the double, um, they're the double glass with the snowflakes on top. So you can put like hot chocolate in here. That's what I would have. I wouldn't have coffee, but anyway, um, and the little snowflakes will show up and I was like, Oh my God, that's so cute. So I'm buying them. They actually are on sale right now. As I look at them, they're 15% off. I might just buy them now. Uh, at Saks, I believe. And these are, I just, I love this look. I love them. There's other ones. There's ones that are like double glass sets in different shapes and stuff, but I love these with the snowflakes. I just think it's an adorable gift. And I don't know how somebody wouldn't like that. Like that's a, that's a great gift in my opinion, of course. When I was talking about tea, right? My favorite tea is Fordham and Mason. Fordham and Mason is in London. It's an English uh, tea company and they have all kinds of tea, like amazing types of tea but it's actually hard to get Ford and Mason here in the United States. Um, not exactly sure why, like you can get every other type of tea, but Ford and Mason for some reason is a little tricky. However, you can go to Williams Sonoma and they have these Ford and Mason, basically uh, picnic baskets kind of thing. And there's different ones um, and they all have, you know, different types of tea and biscuits 
and uh, jams and all that stuff, the typical, you know, English tea service. Um, and it's really cool. There's an English pantry hamper, which is expensive. That one's $300. Um, I think there's one that's yeah, $200. And then there's one that's like got a range from $120 to $250 with like loose teas and jams. I think this is a great gift. I mean, if you're not exactly sure what somebody likes, but you know they drink tea, plus who's gonna be offended by tea? Uh, and jam, I mean, like that's delicious. And yeah, I absolutely love these sets. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get. I'm gonna definitely get one of them. I just haven't decided which one yet. I just think it's a really cute idea with the little basket. So yeah, I'm, I think those are wonderful gifts. I think they'd make an excellent gift for that somebody on your list who really likes tea or, you know, English tea time, that type of thing. I just, the shortbread, it's just, Absolutely adorable. And then uh, William Sonoma also has hot chocolate, all different types of hot chocolate, peppermint, you know. I like just the regular hot chocolate, but there are gift sets, and I think these are adorable. I get these every year for people. I just think it's a great gift because it's not too expensive, but it's a luxury thing, and they have one now with the hot chocolate and the marshmallows. Like, that's a great gift, you know? Like, it's just, the only time of year you're gonna really have hot chocolate is <laughs> it's this time of year, especially if you live in the Northeast. Um, of, of the United States. Uh, I know there's plenty of people in the world right now who are celebrating the summer, not celebrating, but some celebrating in warmer climates. Uh, but, you know, here in New England, it's freezing and hot chocolate sounds delicious right now. And actually, as I film this, I'm like, ooh, hot chocolate, that sounds pretty good. Uh, but anyway, so they have, it's really cute. I love that as a gift. A couple more things and we're almost at the end. Um, one is this uh, Louve, Louve, wow. Geez, this is what happens when I don't get enough sleep. Uh, you know, there's a lot of scarfs out there, and there's ones that are, I think people will recognize, the Louis Vuitton, the Gucci, whatever. Louis is having their moment, along with Celine and, and other brands, but um, I really like, I really do like a Louis Vuitton uh, brand. I think it's, it's very quiet luxury. I've always liked, well, I'll always, I've liked it for a long time before it became, before it blew up and became so popular. But uh, this scarf I just think is really beautiful. It's wool and cashmere, mostly wool. It's like 10% cashmere, which is why it's cheaper. Cheaper. It's $490, uh, but it's a blue and white scarf. And I just think the simplicity of the scarf is really beautiful. I think this would be something that, you know, people would really cherish. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's a great gift. And along with that sort of cold, you know, weather thing are these Max Mara, Teddy earmuffs. Now, I don't, again, if you haven't watched my channel before, you wouldn't have known that I have mentioned in the past, I love the teddy bear coat that Max Mara has. I have tried it on and I look ridiculous. <laughs> the reason I look ridiculous is I'm five feet tall and I don't have like a willowy kind of figure. I'm, I'm more curvy. And so the teddy bear coat just makes you look enormous unless you are sort of that willowy kind of figure. And again, that's fine. You know, if you're comfortable with it, then okay. But for me, it just made me feel like, like a Muppet character. Like it just, it, I, I just did not find it flattering. However, the Teddy earmuffs are adorable and they look warm and I love them. They're alpaca, wool, and silk. So this is not real fur or anything. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't wear that. So yeah, these are beautiful and cute. And I just, I think that's a great gift, especially for anyone who lives in cold weather. They're just fuzzy and warm and cute. Um, and I think, you know, they make a great gift. So uh, I, I'm probably buying those for myself, to be honest. Um, I don't usually ask for like gifts. You know, at this point in my life, I have so many things that I like giving gifts more than I, um, I like getting them. Uh, so headbands. I want to mention headbands because I'm always wearing a headband or often wearing a headband here um, on the channel. So I do not like headbands that squeeze my head. I cannot handle it if a headband is like tight on my head, I just can't, can't do that. So there's a couple that I really like and I have them here on my list, so let me, the first one is uh, Loeffler Randall. And Loeffler Randall is a brand, I get them at Saks, there's always like sales. Um, usually this time of year you start to get into the 15 to 20% off sales. Uh, they'll be coming, they'll be coming soon. And I would say that this one, which is the, um, it's, I don't think there's a name for it. If there is, I'll make sure it's down below here, but it's the sparkly crystal one. And I have it in green 
and like black with like a silver on it. And then I have a silver one. I'll look again as I talk to you, which is why I'm leaning this way. Um, I don't have an all black one. And I think this is the one I'm going to buy. Uh, and it's 15% off right now at Saks. And I'm so tempted to buy it, but I feel like I can wait for 20% off, which I keep doing. And then it keeps disappearing. But anyway, uh, so it's $70. It comes in black, there's a rose, there's a gold. I, I love these headbands, I think they're great. I wear them, you've, if you've watched my channel, you've seen me wear them. Um, and Laughlin Randall has other great ones as well. You can check them out on Saks. Then is the Je uh, Jennifer Bear, and now I think it's Zarina, okay? It's C-Z-A-R-I-N-I-N-A. -I -I -I. It's Zarina headband. I wanted this headband for like the longest time. It's $450, but it's basically, it's a, a fully crystal encrusted surface, like all different shapes of crystals. And I do not have this headband. And it comes in numerous shades. So these are the shades I'm thinking of. There's black, there is green, there is blue, and there is crystal. There are other shades, but those are the four I'm interested in buying. Like those are the four I like. So I'd love your thoughts, A, on which one I should buy, because I can't afford to buy all of them. I mean, I could buy all, that would be that would be over the top. So which one should I buy? And which one do you like? Which one do you like the most? But I also think if you know somebody who wears headbands, this is a, that's a great headband to buy. They're just fun. And it's not something you generally buy for yourself. I mean, I'm buying for myself because the channel, and so I wear them, but most people don't buy these things for themselves. Some do, but for the most part, like you get those as gifts, this is just a great gift, a phenomenal gift. And last but not least is an item that was sent to me. Now, this hat is from Janessa Leone, which I believe is in um, LA. And this is the Tinsley straw hat. This is a black in small. Look at this hat, guys. Look at this hat. Now, this is honestly like the coolest hat I've ever owned. I mean, I think it was my sister said I looked like Carmen San Diego, which I just was like, oh my God, that's awesome. Now, I don't like the sun, pale skin. And so I try to keep out of the sun and this hat has an SPF, I think it's an SPF of 50. I will make sure all the information about the brand is down below. Again, this was gifted to me. That's why I left it to last because everything else I've talked about, I've either bought myself already and I own, or I'm gonna buy. Um, but this was gifted to me, and I have to tell you guys, uh, this is a phenomenal hat. So yeah, it's um, based in Los Angeles. Absolutely, they have they have other types of hats. Like they have all different types of hats. This is the one that I was interested in that I wanted. Um, when they asked me which one I would like, when they reached out, I was like, I would love a hat because, <laughs> because I have to wear hats because I try to stay out of the sun. This is the Tinsley Wide Brim, by the way, just to mention. Um, it is $267, and this did such a good job um, keeping me, you know, without being burnt. Like, I absolutely love this hat. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's six inches brim, crown is five inches. It has a UPF of 50 plus. So if you're somebody who wants to stay out of the sun, you do not want your face in the sun, you want protection, this is perfect. It's an, it, there's a natural shade and then there's the black, which is the raffia straw, both of them. There's all different types of hats if you want a smaller one. I like the dramatic, I like the dramatic big hat. Um, and I just love this hat so much. I'm so excited to have it. And you know, it's, it's perfect for the summer for me when we go down to the Cape, go to the beach. When I travel, you can just smush it and do, you basically put it underneath, like you put it on its, put it upside down uh, and you put pack clothes in the, this part of it and then pack clothes around it and it's fine. It was totally fine in my suitcase. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a phenomenally good hat. It keeps you out of the sun. It's beautiful. Uh, it's stylish. You look like, you know, like you're some dramatic woman or man. <laughs> I just, I love this hat. So I want to say thank you, first of all, to, um, to them for, for uh, sending it to me, for Janessa Leone for sending it to me. Uh, but yeah, I, I really love this. Now, I know this time of year for me in Boston, this is not going to be particularly helpful, but I'm going to uh, Sedona in May next year. I know it's a long way off, but still, <laughs> I thought to myself, my hat. Um, so yeah, I'm just absolutely thrilled with it. I think it's a great gift. 
especially if you're somebody who lives in a climate where you know you need it all the time it's, it's definitely worth it it's my favorite of any hat i've ever owned um i've had a lot of beach hats over the years and this one just it's just, it's so stylish, you know? Like, it's that hat that you see in a movie, like that a, a person wears in a movie, and you're like, no one has a hat like that. I now have a hat like that. So that's my entire list, guys. I am sure there are many other things out there. You know, I tried to keep it, quote, reasonable for, for luxury items. I'm sure I'll think of something the minute I get finished filming, but hopefully it was a good list of ideas for you to, to buy for those difficult people on your list or for yourself. And uh, like I said, the, the beauty, including candles and stuff, is in the other video. I'll make sure I link to that. So I'd be really interested in what you're picking out this year, what's on your list, what you think of this list. And uh, I think that's it for today. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon.